In case you don't already know, I'm a software engineer. But for whatever reason, I decided to turn down a top CS program that someone chose over MIT, as well as great opportunities at Cambridge and Cornell, and instead decided to roll the dice on CMU's College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Was this a stupid decision? Perhaps, but looking back, I wouldn't have changed a thing. And here's why. So now that college decisions are coming out, I wanted to make a video about why I decided to go to CMU, despite not getting to the program that they're most known for, which is their CS program. And I'm sure you already have a lot of questions, so let's get them out of the way. So where else did I get into? Well, I talk about this in my first video, which not only highlights my college admissions profile, but also talks about which schools and programs I got into. Why did I want to do CS? Basically, when I applied to colleges, I also applied to a bunch of different programs, and it's because I initially saw some success and committed a lot to contest math, but then debate came out of nowhere and I enjoyed that a lot. So because I wasn't 100% sure on what I liked more, I applied to a bunch of like computer science programs or business programs, and I just wanted to see what would happen. But then when decisions came out, I pretty much only got into the good computer science and engineering programs, so that decision was already made for me. Why didn't I apply to CS at CMU? Basically, this was a complete oversight on my part because when I was applying to my target schools, I didn't have that much time to do research about different programs because I spent a lot of time on the applications I wrote for my reach schools that all decided to waitlist me. So that means that when I was looking into what CMU offered, I was completely oblivious to the difference in reputation and selectivity that CS had over pretty much all of the programs at CMU. I ended up applying for stats because I was pretty good at math at the time, and at the same time during high school I was doing projects for like science fair that involved data analysis and I really enjoyed that. However, if you're admitted to the stats program at CMU, you're only admitted to the College of Humanities and Social Sciences because for whatever reason the stats department falls under that kind of umbrella college. And I didn't know this at the time, but that actually made it much easier for me to get into CMU than had I applied to, let's say, the computer science program instead. And finally, how did I weigh my options? Basically, when I was considering CMU as an option, I assumed that I was going to study CS there. And it's because unlike Berkeley, which has much stricter headcount restrictions for computer science, anyone at CMU can actually study computer science as long as they do well enough and take on that challenge. And even though I ended up dropping all of my CS courses, I still went in with the mindset of doing CS, either by transferring in or doing an additional major. All right, now that that's out of the way, how did I end up eliminating options? The first thing I asked myself was basically which schools had the best CS programs. And I answered this by making a spreadsheet with the best schools I got into, looked at some CS undergrad rankings, and then used each school's average ranking to see which schools had better programs. And then because I decided I wanted to work in the US, I eliminated Cambridge, even though to most of the world it seems like the best option. This was actually a really hard decision for me because I went to high school in Canada, which is a commonwealth country, which basically means that they'll do anything for the queen. And when I asked teachers at my school, as well as administration, which school I should go to, they all said Cambridge and nobody had even heard of CMU. But then if you look at career outcomes, which are basically like school lists for the companies you might want to work for, they all hire lots from CMU and they rarely hire from Cambridge. After I asked a few more college students for advice, it became very clear that my decision should be between CMU and Berkeley. And to most people, this seems like a no-brainer, right? I was an aspiring software engineer, picking between the most prestigious major at a much livelier school that I enjoyed two summers at, versus a fake CS degree that I have to pay much more for at an ugly school that I never went to for good reason. So then how in the world did I end up picking CMU? First off, I felt like Berkeley's EECS program wasn't really for me. Because the more I heard about the reputation and the rigor of that program, the less I actually felt attached to it. And it's because I pretty much had no coding experience, so being in the same classrooms as some of the smartest and sweatiest kids in the Bay, and by extension some of the smartest and sweatiest kids in the world, was pretty intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. And because I was really worried about that, and because I'm not a genius by any means, I knew I needed a slower introduction to programming, where I can move on my own pace without feeling bad about myself. And then after I talked to some people I knew at Berkeley, I felt like not only ECS, but Berkeley itself wasn't really for me either. And it's because since Berkeley is much larger than CMU, a lot of things are comparatively more difficult. 
For one, they have to be much stricter than CMU on headcount restrictions, which makes it more difficult for you to explore different majors and courses, and apparently creates a toxic environment because people are fighting for limited seats. But the main reason I didn't want to go to a massive school was because I felt like it'd be really hard for me to make close friends. So everyone who's known me for a while knows that I moved 10 times, and at a surface level it seems really cool, but in reality it's made it really hard for me to form strong relationships. And this is also because after I graduated from high school in Canada, my family moved to the Netherlands, which means that I left all my friends behind as well. So I've been longing for a tight-knit group of friends for basically my entire life. You know, people that can support me, people that are always there for me, people that I can rely on. And I felt like I was much more likely to get that at CMU, where I could pretty much go anywhere on campus and run into people I know, and therefore feel like I'm always truly at home. So four years later, do I have any regrets? Well, maybe I should have visited campus to prepare myself for how mid it would be, but otherwise, I don't have any regrets at all. Picking between two of the consensus top four tech schools based on academic factors is pretty much splitting hairs at that point. Because if you care enough about your career, especially in tech, your school and your major don't matter as much as you think. I did as much research as I could to try to figure out which campus would make me happier, and I think I made the right choice in the end. Because as everyone says, you're ultimately a product of your environment. So picking the environment that fits you best is infinitely more important than graduating with a more prestigious sheet of paper. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.